In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the mirror command um, under the pattern in Autodesk Inventor in the part environment. So, firstly, what we need is obviously half the part or the other half of the mirror that we're going to use. As you can see over here, I've got this, this plate cover uh, which I've cut in half. So, once this is done, um, I want to you know, either create a work plane on this face over here. I can use actually this face because it's, um, you know, it's a flat face. Or I can use one of the origin planes. Now, when we go to the mirror command over here, you will see here that I've got, the firstly, I've got two different uh, types that I can do. I can either mirror a f individual feature or I can mirror the whole component. So if you're working in, um, <coughs> in solid bodies, uh, so you can see a solid body at the top over here. Um, you are able to then go and mirror the solids that you've created as well. So if you're using the, the multi-body uh, workflow in Autodesk Inventor. So firstly, I'm going to take a look at the just the features. So if I wanted to, I can go and select each feature over here, selecting it. Or um, probably a quicker way to do that would be to go to the mirror command, select your first component, uh, all the way down to your last component over here. Once that's done, I can go to my mirror plane, but because I've created this component around my origin, I can go to my origin work plane and use that. And it's and it's more, um, you know, either, well, sorry, either select that, so it's the YZ plane, I'd go select the YZ plane over here. And the, the model will become more stable when you are creating uh, components using your origin work planes because they can never get deleted and they're always there. So once we've done that, I can um, select OK and you'll see there it has not mirrored it because I think I have created it with uh, the split as well. So if I think about the split, um, it would have actually gone and uh, done the split there. So if I go right click here, edit feature, no, let's go right click and I do have an edit features over here. Uh, right click edit feature. Okay, go to my features here. I'm going to undo that split. Okay, and there we go. So you can see there now I've created that, that mirror. Um, and the reason why it was, you know, not creating the opposite one is because I was actually mirroring the split, so it, it wouldn't have done that. And then you just got to go do a little bit of cleanup um, with the, uh, you know, with the the faces over here. So just the color of the faces. Uh, and to do that, obviously, you know, right click, go to properties, and then go and change the color over here. So what is this now? If I go to this one over here, right click properties, cyan. So you can go and select these faces here, right click, properties, let's go to cyan. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then there you've got your component which has been mirrored over there. So, mirror tool, it's great for, you know, even if you've got something that's, you know, a quarter which is mirrored in both planes um, or all the way around a central axis running through. Um, mirror is a great way to, to create the other half of your part very quickly and efficiently. Thanks very much for watching.